I'm Phil Busby. I'm here. This is actually, his name is not Ostrich. It's Frank Sinostrich. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a, we've got a few things to teach you guys today. Um, so he wants to, he, he's got actually something to teach you. You know, when birds fly in a V formation, you guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, when, when, do you know what it means when uh, one side is longer than the other? Does anyone know? What does it mean, Frank? He says it means there are more birds on that side. Uh, yeah, I know. That was all stretch. Um, cool. Great. Uh, so we're just going to wing it on this talk. Another pun. There you go. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to teach you some math stuff. Um, and I want to encourage all of you to give lightning talks because they're really super easy. I didn't even know I was going to do this. Um, I just said, what the hell? Uh, oh, right. No f puns. I can say that one, though. Um, so. Uh, a lot of us went to what it was the code codicus code or something like that um, epicodus yeah um, and and so like there's a lot of like academic knowledge that I feel like all of you could use so I'm gonna go over a lot of it uh, this one is mostly just um, uh, floating point math so we're gonna do some fun stuff in uh, floating point math um, and uh, yeah so there's a lot of subtleties with floating point math so let's go through some examples right. Uh, who knows what this is going to output, right? This isn't easy. That. What about 1 point, or sorry, 3.0? What about that? What's this going to output? Ideas? Lots of threes and two or something. Right. Boom. Uh, what, it, and who knows what this, this guy does? Underscore. That's the, the last output, so we can just do this. Who knows what this is going to output? Any ideas? Lots of sixes, right. What about this? Who knows what that's going to output? One. One? Boom. Right. OK, let's try it. Let's mix things up. How about that? OK, so what if we do that? What's that going to output? Any ideas? I heard it. 0 0.2, right? One. Nope. <laughs> 0 0.2. What about this? What's this going to output? 0 0.3. Oh, oh shit! Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, oh, oh hell! Oh, I said hell already. So okay. Darn. What? Darn. Darn. Uh, I am, and those could be wrong sometimes, but don't tell them that. <laughs> uh, that's an old joke. They they had errors in their floating point uh, processors, and people reported them, and they were like, no, we're fine, and they were actually there were actually errors in their processors. Um, so who knows what this is going to output, right? So we already have. Point three zero 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 a bunch of zeros and a four. Any ideas? What's that? You're right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Hey, we're still we're back in reality again. Oh no, never mind. We're <laughs> never. Oh, we're 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 still kind of okay. So that's not going to work out. Um, but let's let's change things up. We've got 42, right? Who knows what? 42 times negative 1 is. Is anyone? You're right, negative 42. What about 0, 0.0? What about 0, 0.0 times negative 1? What's that going to be? Negative 0. Negative 0. Yes, we have some <laughs> people who have done this before. OK, OK, so uh, 0, 0.0. What's this going to be? <laughs> Ideas? Who knows? Well, it's true, right? 0 is equal to 0. OK, cool. How about uh, z 1 over 0, 0.0? We can't really do that, right? Can't divide by 0. Um, floating point, when we do this, it gives us infinity. It kind of approaches infinity, right? What about when we do that? What's that going to be? Negative. Right, negative infinity. <laughs> now, what? If we do, what's that going to be? True. True. No, negative infinity is not negative infinity, right? Interesting. I wonder why that is. Well, it, it's useful when you have like things approaching infinity and things not going to infinity, negative infinity. That's um, that's a good one to remember. So we also have zero over zero point zero. What's this? Right. And how about, a is that going to be a negative nan? <laughs> Net? No? 
Uh, it's still an N, yeah, cool. Uh, and if we do, yeah, we've already done this, so we know that that is going to be true. Um, so what, how is this, what is this, uh, this is like, these are nice parlor tricks, right? Uh, how is this important? How is this ever going to be relevant to us? Well, um, if we're doing, who works with like money, like financial systems? Yeah? So if I give you a dime, and I give you another dime. Or just keep the difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, unless you're in Superman. Because if we're giving people dimes, we don't want to have 10 dimes add up to be 99 cents, right? That would be bad. That would be really bad. We'd be missing a lot of pennies. And those add up. Um, so there's this one XKCD article here. Who's seen this? Has anyone seen this before? Let's see if I can zoom this. There we go. So this jerk is saying, give me $15 and five cents worth of appetizers. Well, right? That's going to be hard. Uh, there's, there's two ways to solve this problem. The easy one is if you just add these mixed fruits together. If you do that. We can add these together, but we get some floating point errors after a while. And we do get to 15.05. We get lucky in that sense. Um, but there's another situation here where if we do that, it doesn't work out. Uh, there's a second solution to this. So if you're dealing with financial systems, don't do it in floats. Just, just, do, just do that. And then you can, and it's an easy optimization. And then when you print it out, just divide it by 100, right? Uh, now, if you're interested in more, Check out this. This is a really important article. Uh, everyone should read this. It's got a bunch of math. It's got a lot of, um, of these. I haven't really learned what the name of this is. The epsilon. Is it epsilon? E? It's like an E. It's a sum of, right? Yeah. Wait. So no. nobody knows, right? Sigma. 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 Um, means the sum of, right? There's a lot of those in this, but this is a really important article. If you're, um, if you're like, this is really good bathroom reading. Print this out. Put it by your toilet. Um, <laughs> Because you're going to be there for a while. But you should, everyone should know the contents of this uh, article because it's going to explain a lot of really cool things. Um, and yep, yeah, that's my talk. Any questions? Yeah, was the whole point of the ostrich puppet just to tell that um, like B joke? Or? <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and, and a few more puns. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> why is the I triple D seven six four? Why is why do they go floating point not fixed point? Like, is there a total reason for that, or is it just they want to mess everybody up? Um. So, well, you need floating point, right? Like, you can't just have integers because eventually you're going to overflow. What if you need to do like times ten to the hundred billionth, right? Well, not that high. <laughs> ten to the seventy fifth. But you can't really do that with an integer. You could do it with two integers, and that's essentially what floating point is. Like, so what, so um, do you remember in like first, second grade, you would have a number like 263, and they would tell you that like 200 is the hundreds, 60 is the tens, three is the ones. And you know when they taught you decimals, they would keep going, and they would say like, this is the tenths, and this is the hundredths, and this is the thousandths. What they really should have been teaching you was that your hundred is 10 to the second, right, I think. Your tens is 10 to the first, your, z your ones is 10 to the zeroth, and your tenths is 10 to the minus one, and it keeps going like that, 10 to the minus two, 10 to the minus three. Uh, that also works in binary. So in binary, we have uh, zeros and ones, if I recall correctly. So we have, so if we, go from, if we go from two to the zeroth, we have ones, and if we go to two to the first, we have twos, two to the second, we have four, two to the uh, third, we have the next one. Uh, if, if we go in the other direction, we have 2 to the minus 1, which is 1 half, and then 2 to the minus 2, which is 1 fourth, and 2 to the minus 3, which is 1 eighth, right? And we can only add these 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth up. So when we get numbers like 0 0.1, right? We can't actually express 0 0.1 because, well, what is 0 0.1? That's, well, that's less than a half, it's less than a fourth less than an eighth, a little bit more than a sixteenth, you know, like that. So it becomes a repeating fraction, and these repeating fractions end up causing us a lot of trouble. Uh, but thankfully, a lot of our, our computer programs round these 
conveniently sometimes, not so conveniently other times, and it's important to know that that rounding is going to cause errors downstream. So yeah, when you can, just use integers. Uh, yeah. Um, that's a good question. Yeah. Okay. That's a really good question. Um, so, are there any other questions? Uh, Did you lose a bet? No, I didn't. Um, actually, so Amazon recommendation engine. Uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Um, just, more yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know what I bought, but Amazon was like, you probably will spend. 18, 16, 15 dollars on this, and they were right. Um, and then, it, and then I was so excited when it came. My roommate was like, oh, "What? What is that box?" And I'm like, "We're like walking to work." And I'm like, "Oh my god!" And I rip open the box like in the driveway, and I'm like, "It's here!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. <coughs> Oh wow. When when was that? Like uh, Oh wow, okay. Cool. So yeah, you're point out that, that was actually people not accounting for floating point numbers that <laughs> yeah. actually kill the people. Well it's really fun to blame the computer. It's not my fault then. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much, Case. <laughs>